When is the best time to distribute your presentation handouts? Keep watching to find out. Hi, I'm Karma Spence, author of the award-winning and Kittle best-selling book, Public Speaking Superpowers. Sometimes to best serve your audience, you will need or want to give them some form of handout. When to distribute these handouts is a hotly debated topic. Some are adamant that you distribute them before your presentation. Others argue that you should never do that and only hand them out at the end of your presentation. However, the truth lies somewhere in between. The type of presentation you are giving greatly affects when you should distribute your handouts. For most presentations, it is better for you to distribute at the end of your speech. However, here are some rules of thumb to help you decide when is the best time to deliver your handouts. When to deliver before a presentation. If your presentation is very long, such as a full day or half day workshop, your handout is probably more of a workbook or binder. In this case, it is better to give your audience this document up front. There are some exceptions to this rule, which I'll cover later. If your presentation is highly technical and you need your audience to review something specific, you'll want that item in front of them while you discuss it. For example, you're discussing a document they need to review or a spec sheet they need to follow as you discuss the highlights. If you need to share information that is too dense for a slide, such as a large data table or complex graphic, these things make more sense as a handout. If you have activities that are better handled by a worksheet than a blank piece of paper, definitely hand these out in the beginning. It can be easier to provide your audience with a pre-printed guide than to explain how to create whatever it is themselves in their notebook. In this case, providing the handout honors their time by moving the activity along more quickly. If you need to facilitate note-taking by providing a pre-printed guide, provide these up front. Perhaps you want them to fill in the blanks as you go along. Or, if you want them to pay particular attention to specific parts of your presentation, the handout can prompt them to take these notes. Bonus tip! When you need to distribute your handout at the beginning of your presentation, give your audience time to peruse it so they won't be doing that during your presentation. When to deliver after a presentation. If your audience doesn't need the handout during the presentation, handing it out at the end reduces rustling papers, reading ahead, and other distractions. If you need the elements of suspense or surprise in your presentation, you don't want to hand out spoilers, hand it out at the end. If your handout is more of a thank you gift than something that will help them absorb the information in real time, leave it until the end. Bonus tips. If you will deliver your handout at the end, let your audiences know and give them a heads up of what it will include so they won't take notes they don't need to. And if you're going to talk about something that's not mentioned in the handout, let your audience know as well. That way they will be sure to pay special attention and take appropriate notes. When to deliver during a presentation. Sometimes your handout meets the criteria for both cases I just discussed. In that case, you might want to break up your handout and dole out the pieces at the appropriate times during your presentation. This can slow things down as the document is handed around. Assistance can help shorten that delay, but the benefits may outweigh the detriments. I hope you found these guidelines helpful. If you have anything to add, please share in a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be notified of future videos.